I'm Nicholas Johnson. We're going to put together a hydroponic growing bucket for less than $40, and this is the Space Warehouse. <laughs> In this video, I'm going to tell you exactly what you need and where to get it and how to put it together. And you'll be able to start growing plants without dirt today. Put it together in just a few minutes. The plants themselves take a little longer to grow. Let's start with the materials that you're going to need. Number one, first thing, a five gallon bucket. The Homer bucket is $3.48 at Home Depot. Next, some sort of air pump. You can get these on Amazon. They're actually surprisingly cheap. You're going to want the little air rock. It's like a fish bubbler. You can search for a fish bubbler on Amazon or I'll have a link below for where I got this one. This was $19.98. It comes with these little valves that only allow air to go one direction. And then you're going to need some sort of baskets. This was a set of 20, I think, and it was $9.99. Net cups. So you can type in hydroponic growing net cups or I have a link below for these ones. So if you're starting up, if you want to use this to start a bunch of little plants, you're going to get a bunch of little baskets. You can get slightly bigger baskets, or they actually make one that's pretty much the size of a bucket. It, it, it depends on what you want to grow. I mean, maybe you're going to grow a cactus in this thing. I don't know what you're going to do. What are you, uh, how do I know what you're going to do? The last thing you're going to need is some sort of, something that floats, some sort of foam. Uh, this is called a project panel board. Is that right? This is called project panel foam. And you can get a tiny little one like this for $5.98 from a big box store. That's it. That's all you need. So plants just need three things to grow. They need some sort of light source, whether it's a light or it's the sun. They need nutrients, which generally comes from dirt, but we're going to do it with a nutrient solution in water. And then they need oxygen. That's why if you overwater your plants in dirt, they can sort of drown and it can kill them. Here, they're literally going to be submerged in the water nutrient solution. But this little feller is going to be pumping up air, pumping up little bubbles, oxygen, which the uh, roots of the plant are going to catch and do what they need to do with. And they're just going to, they're just going to grow. So let's put this stuff together. I need to go get a marker. You're going to take your foam, make a circle around the bottom of your bucket. So what we're doing with this thing here is foam floats, right? So the foam is going to sit inside the bucket and then you're going to put nutrient solution in there. We're going to make little holes in the foam and your little cups are going to be set in this foam circle. As the plants drink up the nutrients in the water or as it evaporates, the foam will float down with the plant where that way you don't ever have to think about watering until it gets really low, then you just fill it all the way back up again. So there's no daily watering. It'll be like monthly maintenance to take care of this thing. This little guy only uses four watts at maximum power and you don't need to turn it up to the maximum power. So you're gonna use no electricity at all. You can just leave it on all the time. You can pretty much forget about it and plants are gonna automatically grow. It's amazing. So this may end up being not a very super perfect circle, but I mean, you're not, this is not displayed as an art piece, so, or find a better way to make a better circle. Your foam circle will fit inside your bucket all the way until your nutrients is too low anyway. So it'll go down to about that level. For this one, I'm just gonna do one medium size-ish cup. If you're going to be growing like herbs or something that doesn't ever get heavy, something small or lemongrass, whatever, you can put, I mean, you could probably do, you could probably do about eight in a bucket. And what I would suggest is just getting one of these, it's called a paddle bit from the Home Depot. And you, it'll just make a perfect hole and you pick the size that's right about the, you know, in the midway up on this thing and drop your things in there. I'm not going to try to get a paddle bit that's this size, so I'm going to do that same method and try to cut it out. I'm going to trace around the outside too, which is going to be pretty much my, we'll call that outer circle the danger zone. You want to cut somewhere between these two circles. This one's too small because, you know, it's tapered as it goes up. And again, this doesn't have to be a tidy process. Perfect. Your little basket fits perfectly in this little foam. So once this is filled up with water, you can see how this works. So 
your plant is gonna be in here. This is gonna be, well, this is gonna be nutrients in water. So this is basically gonna be nitrogen, phosphate, a bunch of other little micronutrients mixed with water. There's lots of different nutrient solutions out there. These are the ones I use. I'm not endorsing them in any specific way, but this only uses two teaspoons per gallon of water. So they last a really long time. Link below. And then this is just gonna sit right on top. As the water evaporates or as the plant uses it up, this foam is gonna lower down with the water level. So you won't have to be worrying about watering your plant daily. You'll just check on it, you know, and as, as this gets down to like here, you're just gonna wanna fill it back up. Next up, your oxygen source, your aeration. If you buy the same one that's on the link below, it's gonna be a one and a half inch paddle bit that you'll need to make a perfect size hole. So take your paddle bit very carefully because this stuff can like snap and break. So be, be, be nice with it. You're gonna make a bit of a mess, so make sure you're in a place where you can clean up easy. It comes with a bunch of rubber tubing, quarter inch tubing if you need to get more. Ideally, you do want this to sink down to the bottom of the bucket, so cut accordingly. We'll just put that in there. Put that little, so one end will go just on your little bubbler. We'll just drop that down in, hit the bottom. So this bubbler actually has two little outlets on it. So just be aware when you're cutting the length of the tube that you may want to use it twice or go get some quarter inch tube from your big box store so that you can, if you need to run it a longer way, if you want this to, if your power source is far away, I don't know. When you're installing the little one-way air valve, just give it a little blow. Make sure you want the air to go into the bucket and not into the pump and then cut off just another little tiny bit for the back of that. And that goes into your little air pump. And that's it. Add nutrients, add a plant, <laughs> and this thing is ready to grow hydroponics. You can actually, so you can use this hole to refill it without disturbing anything. And so that's it. It's that easy. Uh, for $39.43, we have made a hydroponic growing system that works really well. Uh, here's an example. I've had this one going in my backyard for a little over a year now, I had an aloe plant. Super quick backstory, this little aloe plant has like followed me and my parents throughout the different houses that we've moved to. I mean, it was like this big. I put it into my hydroponic system that I'm about to go show you, and now it is overtaking the whole thing. So for under $40, you can build yourself a hydroponic growing plant. And since this thing has two air outlets in it, all you gotta do is another $3.50 for a second Home Depot bucket. This actually came with two rocks. And there's plenty of space left on this foam for another bucket sized circle. So you don't even need to rebuy that. The net cups usually come in packs of multiple packs. So you'll have enough of that. So really for the price of a second bucket, now you've got two for just a little more than $40. Pump, $20, $19.98. Net cups, I got them for a pack of 20 for $9.99. The Homer bucket for $3.48 or two of them for seven bucks. Project panel foam for $5.98 for a grand total of $39.43. So as you can see, for less than $40, you can build a fully functioning hydroponic growing system. You have to spend a little bit more once you actually put something into the system. You may want these little clay balls. You put them in with the cup with the plant to sort of like hold it up, because when a plant's in the dirt, normally it's got the dirt to hold it up. You can't just plop a plant loosely in this thing, it'll tip over, although I mean it would still grow. You want a little something, it doesn't have to be these clay balls, it can be something else. You can just put things in there so that it'll prop up the plant. If you're gonna be starting from seed, it's good for you to get these little rock wool starter things. They got a little tiny hole in them, plop a seed in that hole, get it wet, put it in a plastic bag, wait for it to germinate, and then you can just, whoop, you can just add it into the system because as long as your roots are getting oxygen and the nutrients they need, it's gonna grow and then some sort of light. I mean, you can have it on some sort of light like this or you can have, put it in your backyard if you get enough sun. I don't recommend that in the wintertime in the north, but I live in Florida, so we can just put these, I could build a hundred of these things and just leave them out there forever. Okay, that's it. That's hydroponic growing for under $40. Get out there and make something. If you like this video or found any of the information helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe below. Watch the progress while I, figure out what I'm gonna put in this thing and then it'll grow over time. In an upcoming video, I will show how to, you can also have like a halfway grown plant and get it out of the dirt, transplant it into one of these things for a much easier growing experience, for growing your tomatoes. There are many kinds of hydroponics. This is just one kind, the cheapest and easiest kind to make. I'm gonna go now.